Hello everyone, we're going to look at number 16. In the last video I just got done saying that 16 and 17 are flip-flopped in the answer key both in, if you were to look at uh, number 17 in your student edition, say you've completed 16 and you want, or 17, you want to check your answer and you were to look at 17 back here. Okay, this right here, R24, they give you this problem 17, they give you the answer here. This is actually the answer to problem 16. It's a typo in the book. It's also a mistake in my teacher edition is that these are flip-flopped. Okay, those are flip-flopped. So the answer to 16 is really right here. And I'll work through 16 right now with you so you can see that. If you look at 16, your slope, okay, you're going down to over two, so it's negative x, and then your intercept is plus four, so negative x plus four. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. Negative x is your slope. Your intercept is not negative four, it would actually be down to over two, down to, it'd be minus four. And that's if x is less than negative 3. You're to the left of negative 3 for this piece. Your next piece, your slope is, so this is at negative 3, 1, and this is 1, 2. So negative 3, 1. Negative 3, negative 1, I'm sorry. Negative 3, negative 2. This point is negative three, negative two. This point is one, two. Find your slope. Four over four or one, so it's gonna be X. So you're going up one over one right here. And then your intercept is four, X, or I mean one. Your intercept is one right here. X plus one, if, you are to the right of negative three and left of one. So the right of negative three, so if x is to the right of negative three, but then less than one. Put an equal bar under there. And your third piece, your slope is zero. Your intercept would be negative six, so it'd be y equals negative six. It describes this line, so put negative six if you are to the right of four. So if x is greater than four. And with no equal bar here because we have an open circle. Okay, so there is 16, and let's see if that matches up. So this is 16 out of the book. And if you were to compare it, notice your first line here, negative x minus four negative x minus 4 is actually in the answer key to 17. And then it's x plus 1 if x is between negative 3 and 1. x plus 1 if x is between negative 3 and 1. And then negative 6 if x is greater than 4. Negative, x is, or negative 6 if x is greater than 4. Okay. So always, if you feel you got an answer right, but it's wrong, ask again, compare the problem in the textbook, make sure that problem is the exact same as the teacher edition. Sometimes there is a small typo or something mixed up. Very rare, but it could happen.